Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So in a previous video we were talking about that we're in a transitional phase right now in our life and we made another video about step one, how we go about that. Making lists. So today we're going to be talking about step two. Clearing out the cupboards and sorting through our stuff. So we're going to try and keep this as simple as possible and divide our things into four. So the first is the stuff that we're going to donate, we're going to give away. The second seat will be things that we're going to keep and actually take with us. The third seat, things that we're selling. Won't be much there at all, unfortunately, this time around. And the fourth seat is for storage. So we will be sending a few items back to my mum's place just in case someone has a wedding one day. We've got some nice clothes that we want to set aside or anything that we may need in the future we don't want to have to buy again. So these are the four categories and the task for today is to work through our cupboards and get through as much as possible. We may not be able to do the whole thing, but we'll certainly give it a go. And this is the other side of the cupboard. So quite a task, let's get to it. So later this is the end result we've done pretty well so there's a couple of things that we're not sure of and we're just going to sit on a lot that we're giving away this is the donation pile so that's the biggest pile uh, a few more things here some winter stuff because the plan is to go up to a farm up in the north of Australia and it's going to be quite chilly when we get back from Thailand so we need to keep some warmer things again we don't want to throw everything away and then have to rebuy things so and also a lot of this stuff here in the bottom section of the pile that's for the farm once we're done at the farm we'll probably dump a lot of it again we're thinking so that's the initial breakdown of the clothing and the cupboards are almost empty, just a few scarves and pyjamas, things like that. Yeah, so this was quite interesting, cutting down our stuff once again. We've been here several times, haven't we? Yeah, and things hold an energy. So sometimes we have emotional attachments to certain articles of clothing, certain items. So sometimes it can be quite challenging to let go of those emotional attachments. Yeah. And I think this is important to not identify with material possessions mm -hmm. and we came into this world with nothing and we shall leave with nothing mm -hmm. materially only what we develop inside ourselves and sometimes it's also good to let go of those things in the past like we find everything has an energy so there were some items of clothing that are really nice and aesthetically they look beautiful but they hold an energy to them because they're from a particular time and place and period in our lives that we don't particularly want to go back to or be reminded of so those things are really easy to let go of because you don't want to have that on you I'd actually like to share one of those items that Luca was talking about so this necklace here is of a moon and I bought this in India on our first year away at the end of that first year we just came out of the ashram and I wanted a moon the moon represents Shakti the feminine energy and I wanted something to take away with me from India to remind me of that experience and a lot of the deep inner work that I'd done and so I wore this for years and years you won't be able to see it on camera but when we're in Thailand volunteering at an orphanage the babies would chew on this I'd have it around my neck and they'd be popping it in their mouth and there are actually little teeth marks from the babies so um, that's really special and it just it holds so much and uh, we found this tucked away and we thought oh what do we do keep it or throw it or what so for now I'm just gonna hold on to it for a little bit longer and work out what to do with it before we leave here in less than two months so there are definitely items that are tricky to to let go of that's it guys we are done for today I think and we'll keep refining these piles down and down and down until we're happy and feeling quite light so this is another example of our minimal living and uh, it might not look too minimal with all these piles around us but it's good to see that the biggest pile is what we're giving away so that's what you always want so perhaps post down below tell us something that you would find really difficult to let go of um, something that yeah you just feel very attached to that holds a strong memory for you would you be able to let go of something like this I don't know share your thoughts down below 
Thanks for watching guys and we'll see you next video. See ya.